Small for gestational age is associated with reduced lung function in middle age, a prospective study from the first to fifth decade of life. My name is Melvin Tandra, and welcome to the video abstract for this article. Our study provides new evidence for the association between small for gestational age and reduced lung function in later life by including more complex lung function measures and a formal mediation analysis. Being born with low birth weight or small for gestational age is a serious public health issue with an estimated prevalence of 14.6% and 27% respectively. Low birth weight has also been previously associated with increased mortality and lifelong adverse effects such as neurological, gastrointestinal, and respiratory issues. In this study, we analyzed data from the TAS, the Tasmanian Longitudinal Health Study, which started in 1968. Children born in 1961 were recruited and their parents completed a survey while the children themselves attended a clinical examination. We chose the task because it was the only long-term respiratory cohort with birth data that has measured complex lung function up to middle age. We found a positive association between spirometry measures of lung function and birth weight. Additionally, we have also found that compared to those with normal weight, small for gestational age babies had lower measures of lung function. We have also found that these associations were largely mediated by adult height. In conclusion, we did find that small for gestational age was associated with lower lung function in middle age, and that these associations were significantly mediated by adult height. This highlights the importance of public health measures that aim to improve birth weight and to prevent small for gestational age. Areas that need further research include research to focus on preventative strategies and their effectiveness on factors that may contribute to being small for gestational age. Additionally, research must also be done into identifying the success of methods of enhancing intrauterine growth in high-risk populations to increase lung health. Thank you very much for watching this presentation.